Hello, I'm Frederick Mellon aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm gonna go over the very very basic uh, of uh, our electric motors we use in our helicopters. Uh, it will not be uh, detailed or technical. It's uh, actually this is my motor so that that's on the level uh, this is. But I will un uh, make you understand a couple of things that I know some have trouble with. The first thing is how to reverse the motor uh, if it's spinning in the wrong direction. A motor is actually like this and you have the speed controller pushing it. That, that's the way. And it pushes it in several places, in three places. So it pushes it, pushes it, pushes it, and it goes around, around, around. So we have these three different phases and what you need to do to reverse the uh, direction of the motor is to swap any two of these. It doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna show you. Because if I fire here, 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 the motor goes that way. And if I swap these two and fire there, 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 it goes the other way. And we do it again, let's do it that way. And dum, bum, 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 and it goes that way. So it always changes direction when you swap two cables, any two cables. So next thing we have is timing and uh, the timing is like pre-ignition on a car engine meaning if I push this motor here in one place and then I push it a little earlier the motor spins faster I get more power but also it generates more heat my finger hurt because I'm hitting the corner a little, a little bit I, I get the most out of it but it does uh, a little um, um, hurt, hurt on my fingers but if I do it very soft I'm late on my timing the motor spins actually a little bit slower and less powerful but it's running much cooler so that's the same thing with timing then we have the PVM frequency and that's something that uh, usually is 8 kilohertz or 12 or 24 or uh, 16 something and that's how often the speed controller actually pulses out the power uh, 8 kilohertz that's 8,000 times per second so even if we have a motor that's spinning uh, let's say 100 times revelation per second that means it pulses like this and that's how the, the speed controller drives the motor, doing it fast, 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 fast. Some controllers, many goes by, you can calculate what the motor, the optimal way of driving the motor is, but the thing is, speed controllers are not created equal. Some speed controllers do not like running at eight kilohertz, even if the motor is made for eight kilohertz, meaning you should uh, check what that speed controller runs the best. Hobbywing is a perfect example. They do not like 8 kHz. They w want to be run at 12 kHz and uh, you get much better uh, motor control by using 12 kHz. So that's, that's one of the settings that you should check what people are running for that controller. Then we have the last thing I'm going to show you, and that's when things do not get smoothly, uh, go smoothly, and that's when you get commuting error. Let's say I push it hard, 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 and then I, boom, ow. I hit it so hard and actually drive the motor so fast, I didn't actually remove my hand in time, and that's, I'm getting a big hit from uh, what's called back EMF, meaning the the power that the motor is generating by me pushing here it generating stuff here and that is hitting me where I wasn't uh, anticipating it basically so then I get a huge commuting error the motor stutter to, uh, in, in flight and if you have uh, a huge spike of this it can, can kill your uh, controller so that, that's the danger uh, when, when a controller runs out of sync or a motor is uh, something wrong with it so that that that's that's a danger